Y'all, I am terrible at remembering to turn my holiday decor lights on and off, so I have opted to control basically all of my lighted decor with smart plugs. If a decoration does not include a timer built in or a plug for the wall, then I just generally avoid it because I know that I will forget to turn those things on and off every day and my house will be the one that looks like it's not decorated because the lights are never on. <laughs> so Lutron Cassetta made this new outdoor smart plug and this lamp smart dimming plug, both of which give me one less thing that I have to think about during the holidays. So this first one is the new outdoor smart plug, which is perfect for outdoor holiday decor or even year round use for things like pump control or small motors, landscape lighting, even string lights, which is something that I definitely want to set up this summer. Pretty much anything that you would like to turn on or turn off outdoors, you can plug into this up to specific load levels. So for example, I can power my holiday decor lighting up to 15 amps using this plug. All you have to do is plug this into a GFCI outlet, get it connected via a Lutron bridge and the app, or you can also pair it with a Pico remote control, just like I did with my Lutron dimmable switches in the studio. So if you've already used the Pico remote with smart switches, then you know exactly how this works because you set it up in pretty much the exact same way. Now, in my case, I connected this smart plug via the bridge and my Lutron app, and then I paired it with the Pico remote so that I can also control it manually if need be. But for the most part, since I do have a bridge, I just have the plug automate on and off times by making a new task in the schedules tab for the outdoor plug within the Lutron app. So I have it set to turn on 30 minutes before sunset every day, and then I have it turn off at the same time as all my other lighting for the house, and I just add it into my good night schedule. This retails for about $80, so why would you opt for this over some of the off-brand ones that you could get? So for starters, it's actually built for extreme weather, and I can tell you about this from experience. Like, it just snowed here, and this thing is rated for IP65, and it also has a temperature rating for anything between negative 20 degrees Celsius, which is negative 4 Fahrenheit, up to 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 Fahrenheit. So I have a feeling that I will be good here in Denver. Now we do get freezing temperatures here in Denver, so I needed a tool that would last and that is not going to freeze and die or break on me if I'm using it outside, especially if it gets covered in snow, which is definitely a possibility living here. So I've been testing this for a few weeks and it has not lost connection at all. It stays on schedule. Even if the daylight savings rolls around, it will automatically be set correctly to adjust to the proper sunset time, which is great. And I like that I can also control it from my Google Assistant and my home app, which is one of the coolest perks about this. It has voice control. Turn on front porch. Turn off front porch. Ah, that's so cool. Turn on front porch. <laughs> now a little side note, if you do want to control it manually, there is a little button on the front that works just like an on and off button. And you can also mount this onto a wall with a pair of screws if you do not want it hanging out from your outlet. There's a couple of screw holes right at the top and right at the bottom. By the way, Spider Oak is giving away some free stuff. Did I get your attention? Spider Oak is my channel sponsor for December and they are doing something really cool this season. Join Spider Oak throughout the entire holiday season on a path to better security and privacy with their 25 days of cybersecurity. So for 25 days, the Spider Oak team is sharing small, actionable changes that can have a huge impact on your online privacy. Whether that's knowing where to go to find out if your email address has been compromised in a breach, very important, or understanding what what companies are tracking your data and how you can actually stop it from happening. Each and every single day will help you understand what kind of action you can take to keep you and the people you care about safe online. Plus, Spider Oak is giving away all sorts of freebies for every single day. You can enter to win free Crossclave Pro plans, Spider Oak swag, and other prizes. There is no purchase necessary. All you have to do is check out the daily security and privacy tips at the link down below 
below. You can click directly over to it and see all the ways that you can step up your cybersecurity game before 2022. Thank you so much to Spider Oak for sponsoring my channel. Now, the second adapter I am using is this lamp dimming smart plug, which can make two different lamps because it has two plugs, one in each side, smart, even if they don't have smart bulbs installed in them. It's pretty cool. Now, in this case, you plug your lamps into the smart plug, you plug the smart plug into your outlet, and then you connect it to your account in the same way, or you can pair it with a Pico remote. Yay! This one can also be sent on a schedule or it can be controlled manually with the buttons on the front of the plug or via the Pico remote. Or you can control the whole entire plug with Google Assistant. Turn off front foyer holiday lights. The lamp dimming smart plug can let you adjust brightness levels. You can turn lamps on or off. And if you set one of these up within 30 feet of a smart bridge hub, the dimmer will act like an extender for the hub range and it will add an additional 30 feet radius to your setup. So if you have a huge house, this could be very useful for you. This works with 100 watt dimmable LED or CFL lights, as well as 300 watt incandescent or halogen lights. And depending on where you look, this plug will run around $50 or so. I have to say, it is so nice having smart plugs and switches that are all controlled through the same app with the bridge. And I love that everything is compatible with my Google Assistant so I can just talk to it and tell it when to turn things on and off. I am curious how you control your holiday decor so that you don't have to think about it. Comment below and let me know your ideas. The holidays, I feel like they're pretty stressful enough with like gift giving and having to mail out cards and having to make sure I got enough groceries so that I can entertain the family. There's a lot to think about. So adding a little bit of automation to take this one thing off of my mind, that's worth it to me. Special thank you again to Spider Oak for sponsoring this episode. And thank you so much for subscribing. I'm Shannon Morse and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.